In the previous video, we discussed about the one point form of equation. Uh, I mean, if we have one point and the slope of the line, then we can find out the equation of the line. And we had learned, uh, we got the equation finally like y minus y0 equals to m times x minus x0. Here, uh, this x0 and y0 is the point, you know, x0, y0 is the point given by the equation. And the m is the slope given by the equation. If you, if you know these two things, I mean, equation, uh, we can easily find out one point and one slope. Then the equation is this and now we're going to uh, find the equation if we have the two points so how to find out the equation if we have the two points all right then uh, let me draw a small figure here suppose this is my y-axis this is my x-axis and uh, let me see my line let me say this is my line all right and uh, this is x-axis this is y-axis origin all right uh, let me say here is a point point P whose coordinate is x1 y1 and here we have another point Q whose coordinate is x2 comma y2 and we need to take a general formula here or a general point here so let me say this point A uh, x comma y is a general uh, general point in this line 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 L all right so any value of x and y will satisfy the uh, the equation of this line all right when you uh, when we have the equation of this line L and if we plug the value of x and y then that will uh, that will satisfy that equation all right so it's a general formula so now we need to find out the two point form of equation all right we have this two point uh, point p and then point q in the form of in the generalization we need to make so general for making generalization i'm taking this point a x y all right so now if you see you know in this uh, what uh, in this figure if we analyze what we can see that uh, the slope of the line pq you know Keep in mind the slope of the line PQ is same as the slope of the line AQ and is same as the uh, line AP. You know, because those all line segment, line segment AP, line segment AQ and line segment AQ all have the same inclination of the line L. Everybody is making same angle theta. So the line, uh, if, if the inclination of the line L is theta, then the, uh, then the tan of the angle, which we say slope, will be m all right and since this uh, ap have same inclination theta so, so the slope will be m and similarly same uh, line aq has the same inclination this theta so slope will be m and similarly uh, line segment pq has the inclination theta so the slope will be m means everybody has the same inclination so the everybody every every uh, every line segment line segment aq line segment uh, ap line segment pq all have the same slope so what i can write here that uh, uh, slope of slope of uh, slope of this uh, AP slope of AP is equal with slope of uh, PQ all right slope of PQ and is equal with slope of uh, slope of AQ all right slope of AQ this is extra we don't have to write but still I'm writing so that uh, it, you can understand in more better way all right now slope of AP Slope of, if you see here, uh, we know the two point, right? Uh, and whenever we know two points, we can easily find out the slope of that. See here, one point is A, X, Y, and another point is uh, X, 1, Y, 1. So, uh, you know that uh, the slope of any line is difference of Y coordinate over the difference of X coordinate, all right? So, here, difference of Y coordinate is uh, Y, 1 minus Y, all right? So, Y, 1 minus Y, and difference of X coordinate, that is X, 1 minus X, X, 1 minus X. Now slope of PQ, if you see slope of PQ, again difference of Y coordinate, that is Y2 minus Y1, alright, Y2 minus Y1 and difference of X coordinate, that is X2 minus X1, X2 minus X1 and equals to now slope of AQ and if you see the slope of AQ, alright, again difference of Y coordinate, that is Y2 minus Y1, Y2 minus Y1, no, simply Y2 minus Y over X2 minus X, alright, X2 minus X1. Uh, minus x simply now to form the equation you know you can take any two value either this two or uh, if you want then you can take this two uh, whatever you like you can use that one uh, i prefer to use this one because you know uh, if i'm using this then what i can <coughs> what i can take for this instant i'm taking suppose uh, this one okay you can take any one as i said so <coughs> our equation is going to be now y1 minus y over x1 minus x is equal with now y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay 
So now what I can write, y1 minus y is equal with now y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x1 minus x. This is our required equation. If you want to write even uh, in general, uh, generally like uh, you get in, in the book, if you see, you'll get like this. y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1. Actually, we did not do here anything. We just exchange the first place and last place. Here. We just write first y and then we write y1. So you'll get here 1 minus and while exchanging here also, you'll get 1 minus and both minus will cancel up and you'll get this equation. All right. So this is the uh, this is the uh, general equation for the uh, two point form uh, for the two point form of equation. I mean, if you have the two point, all right, uh, the two point x1, y1 and x2, y2, then that time the equation of the line will be this one y minus y1 equals to y2 minus 1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 if you see properly you know you'll see one thing see y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 all right in this equation in this in this line uh, y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 what is that that actually the slope of the line pq all right so this is actually y minus y1 times slope m of the line pq times x minus x1 so you can solve this equation uh, I mean, you can find out the equation of the line from the one point form also. This is uh, one point form, you know, one point form, uh, one point and slope form, you know, uh, point slope form also. We see sometimes this point slope, slope form, you know, all the equations are almost same, you know, you just have to look up, look properly. <clears throat> and now, based on this, you know, based on this one, uh, the two point form of equation, uh, let's try to solve, a, uh, let's try to solve a problem. Okay, suppose I have a point, uh, say P which is 2 comma 3 and I have another point let's say Q which is let's say 4 comma 5 so I need to find out the equation of the line which is passing through this P and Q okay so here I have line PQ so let's let's find out the uh, equation for this line PQ okay here I have point P 2 comma 3 and Q 4 comma 5 so uh, the same formula y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 uh, times x minus x1 and now here you can choose any one x2 y2 okay I'm supposing this is x2 y2 and this is x1 y1 all right this is x2 now uh, let's put the values so y minus y1 y minus y1 y1 is your 3 and y2 minus y1 that is 5 minus 3 and x2 minus x1 that is 4 minus 2 times x minus x1 that is uh, x minus x1 x1 is your here 2 all right so 2 and then let's solve this y minus y3 now 5 minus 3 that is 2 and uh, 4 minus 2 that is 2 and that is x minus 2 now this 2 and 2 will cancel up and you'll get y minus 3 equals to x minus 2 and let's write it even properly so it will be x uh, minus y equals to uh, <coughs> uh, sorry uh, what x minus y this is x and this y I'm taking this side so it will be minus y and this minus 3 when it will come this will be plus 3 minus 2 equals to 0 means our equation is going to be x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 so x minus y plus 1 equals to 0 is the equation of the line which is passing through the points 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 5 this is how we need to find out the equation of a line whenever we get the two two points all right and this this equation we say uh, a two point form of equation i hope you understand it